good afternoon everybody and welcome to Easter Monday 2024 and today I thought we'd do a bit of a technical video and have a look at the new Gauge Master Premium Track Rubber this is GM25 there's a smaller version as well this one was £9 something from the Gauge Master shop and I believe the other one's £6 the smaller one and it says this is an aluminium oxide track rubber which is kinder to your track and perfect for all scales now the one I've been using for about five years now is this Pico one and you've seen in my various track cleaning videos particularly the one which discusses which chemicals to use that I only use this very lightly and just almost with the weight of the rubber polish the track these are burnishing rubbers after all but it will be interesting to actually see how the two compare and the way we're going to do that is by using this little device which is a high powered electronic microscope so I shall need to hold it to the track like so now you won't see but up here where my fingers point is my computer screen and I can see the image um, of what the microscope is seeing and I will let you see that in the video in the top right corner so you'll be able to see what the microscope's seeing. This silver wheel is a focusing wheel and I'm just focusing it now and what we're looking at is a bit of uh, Hornby track. This hasn't been cleaned, I don't think it's even been used so that's just what it looks like and we're just going between the two areas. I'm going to put a little T there which you can just see how massive that looks so that we know we're on the top rail. I will clean the top rail with the Pico rubber and the bottom rail with the new Gauge Master aluminium oxide rail. So let's start with the Pico. So that's what the track looks like and I'm going to clean it fairly vigorously which is not how I normally use it. And we'll brush it away and now have a look. So nice and clean but Yes, I would agree, there are indeed a few scratches, sorry I'm keeping my hand in the way, you can't see what I'm doing, I know that. Yes, but there are now scratches, look, and they're longitudinal, which is the way I used the rubber. Those little notches are just something that was in the track in the first place. You can see the bits of the track rubber underneath, on the paper underneath it. So yes, it does indeed scratch the rail. Now if I use it on the same rail, but across the grain of the metal, being careful not to do it here, it's very difficult to show you at the same time, there we go, that's how I'm doing it, and blow it away, and I'll come back with the microscope. And you can indeed see the scratches that it's left can't you yes look at that wow that surprises me well the first time we did it it didn't so without any doubt it scratches the track if you use it fairly firmly so now I'm going to move down to the bottom rail oh, I must have hit it there look that was when I was doing it across it so we find a bit of track which is not anywhere near it, there we go. So we're on a new bit of track. Just here, look. There's a few little marks and things. But funny enough, the nickel silver rail marks quite easily. Right, but that's untouched, uncleaned, that muck. So we'll get the new Gauge Master track rubber out of its packet. And then I will clean this area with it. I'm rubbing fairly firmly. You can see the little bits coming off. It feels nice and smooth now. Try and hold it down with the other finger so you can't have a problem seeing what I'm doing. There we go. We're now looking at the track as cleaned by the Gauge Master rubber. Look at the difference. You can see the bits underneath, look, you still have to vacuum after using these. There's those little notches that were there anyway, but look at the nice smooth look of the track. 
that's nice and clean no problem at all and not scratched now then and I do this without hitting the other track I'm using it across the grain of the metal fairly firmly and let's just focus up again it's about 40 times the magnification and look nothing just nice clean rail what a difference quite surprised so let's have a look at the two this is the Pico rubber as you can see it's very gritty it's got like metallic glistening bits on it which is obviously how it uh, cleans and now we'll look at the new gauge master one and yes you can see some bits of dirt there now it's much more like a piece of foam rubber it's not it's aluminium oxide well probably foam rubber with aluminium oxide in maybe but look at that it's it's not got the same gritty bits at all and in fact holding it it's much softer to feel it's a fairly hard affair this is a much more soft thing you can actually compress it with your fingers a little bit oh there we go I'm quite surprised at that but let's just find a little bit of track up this end perhaps which yeah that hasn't been cleaned and now if I put the microscope down and I'm just going to do how I use the track rubber, the Pico one, just with its own weight really. I need to have that face in us. So there, I've cleaned it with it. And yes, there are some minor surface abrasions. But nothing like was there or um, those bits, those deep ones were already there. Nothing like um, we saw when we used it harshly. Go into this rail. Let's just do this again, just so you can see it. This is the new Gauge Master one. And look at that, beautifully clean. Now, let's find where we put all the nasty scratches. There they are. As we discussed in my video on chemicals to use, polar and non-polar, I'm sure some of you saw where uh, my friend in Australia who's a scientist um, those scratches fill with dirt and when they fill with dirt they cause arcing between your wheels and the track which causes more burnt on carbonized dirt and that's what causes the trouble that's why you lose contact between the wheels and the track so you want to avoid scratches if at all possible you can't because if your engine's wheels slip it's going to scratch it a little bit but this new Gauge Master rubber certainly improves the situation and I should probably use this now by default and leave the old Pico one aside. I hope that's been interesting to some of you uh, and I hope you've been able to follow along with this rather difficult to make video. Cheers for now, bye.